I'm from Sweden, but I've been living in Spain, in Catalonia for almost nine years now. So it's been a very long time. I ended up there because I had uh, yeah, true cycling and I had a couple of teammates who needed a base for the for the racing season who were from Canada and America and they had stayed in in Girona before and I thought one year when I was tired of the Swedish winter okay I will also give it a try and since I yeah stayed there I was thinking ah oh, this is this is better I want to live here yeah Last year in the World Championships, it was a really, really hard circuit and on the paper beforehand, it should have been for the pure climbers and that's the girls who really looked forward to, to that year's Worlds. And I think I surprised myself and quite a lot of people by actually coming in fourth in that type of race. So it was nice to, to prove to yourself that you're able to do something you don't expect of yourself. Yeah, it's my first year now with a new team, with FTG, and it will be definitely a new challenge for me and a new experience. And uh, I think it's been starting off really well. And yeah, obviously I need to now try and uh, also, apart from the Spanish, learn a bit of French. So that will be my main challenge for the year, I think. But it's a nice, nice team. It's a good size of the team and it's a good good um, team for the for the women's to focus on the women's side of the sport and um, I I've always respected and looked up to the team so I'm quite excited to be part of it and hope I can bring something also to the team for this year. I was coming to a point where I felt I need a change of teams. I've done cycling for many years now and I'm getting a bit older. So I've been in the, in the game for so long and I've done really well by being the, the helper in a team. And I just feel it's sort of now or never to try something different and try and find my limit. How far can I go and what qualities could I really reach as a rider and uh, I feel it's time to have a bit more responsibility and try to to find my limits and I think this is a good fit for that. I started cycling when I was 12 um, after a lot of come like trying to convince me to try from my from my dad because I have an older brother who did cycling before before me and I did gymnastics so I did these two sports for a few years till I was 18 is when I turned the focus just into into cycling and uh, then I turned professional when I was 19 and it was uh, quite a big step I don't think I knew fully what I was getting into but sometimes that's better because you you just go along with it and I had I learned so much the first years when I turned professional I think coming in not expecting too much or being too worried about what was waiting made me able to develop in a good in a good pace and actually not being too stressed about it too early and I still had to finish high school when I turned professional I can see this with a lot of the girls in the team this year who still studies and I think it's important to to take also time for that and with cycling you have so many years where you can progress and before you should reach your best potential so I think it's important to take it in a good progression time and I for me it happened without knowing too much before about it because cycling in Sweden is not super big so I wasn't exposed to it so much before I actually throw myself into the whole professional circuit. I think there's been a few important people. I had um, an old national coach who actually helped me get my first professional contract and without her trying to, to make me that chance, I think I would maybe have taken a different path within the cycling, but I hope I still would have made it otherwise. But uh, now this is the way it happened. And then also from the first year, I had a really good coach and director and mentor with uh, Petra Rosner who used to ride before and um, she was also really 
really focused on giving me personal goals on my level to slowly progress and not try to feel I didn't fit in. And I think that was, that was really important. I think for me, the biggest learning thing with cycling is to be, to be patient. I had quite a few ups and downs and I've had some tougher years. And I think you need to learn to be patient and also to find the way it works for yourself. And everyone is different and you just gotta believe in yourself and find the right path for you. Even if it's easy that so many people tell you other things, you need to, you need to find that peace within yourself and the patience within yourself. And uh, I think that's the biggest thing I will take with me. Yeah, the biggest challenge for women cycling is we wish to be recognized as the men. Like we wish for our races to be on the biggest scene and have more TV and to get the whole circle with sponsorships and everything to come together to lift our level even higher. But I think the last years you've seen progression and the depth of the women have become much stronger. So it's definitely coming from the riders, the, um, the focus and wanting to make it professional and the competitiveness is coming really high. But I think we still need to have more, more finding the full circle to make the sponsors come in and to have also then the media to have the interest. And it's, it's a challenge definitely to find the, um, to get that ball rolling for the women. But I think the discussion is up and we're on a good, good way to finally make it happen, I think. I've been really surprised how, how good it's been for cycling here around Cambrils. It's the first time I'm in this area for training and it's, uh, it's so beautiful. And you go up in the mountains and it's super quiet. There's hardly any cars. So it's perfect for, for cycling because we come to so many places where you encounter a lot of traffic and a lot of stressed drivers. But here, everyone's almost been waving and cheering us on and been so happy. So I think there's really a sportive culture and an acceptance and an enthusiasm for cycling around here. And I think that's been so nice to, to feel calm and safe on the road out training. Yeah, the Olympic Games is probably the coolest experience I've had and uh, I've done the Olympics twice and I think the first time I, I reached my goal to go to the Olympics because I've always watched the Olympics when I was young and it just always gotten me so emotional watching everyone do sports on the highest level and to be able to experience that yourself made me really want to do it another time so um, it was really nice to see everyone from different sports because normally we're in just with the cycling so to experience everyone doing every other different sport and be in the same place and be in the highest yeah you have people coming to watch everything and such an international event it was something that i've looked back to and when i need to find motivation i always think about this experience and it just it was something of the the nicest things to have experienced. My goal for this season is to, I would like to win a bike race or two. So that's my main goal. I haven't set specifically which ones I really want to win. So I'm, I just want to, to keep proving to myself that I can be competitive and can be trying to fight for, for podiums and for the victories. And I think, you still need to, to try and fail to be able to do it. And uh, I hope to, to have everything come together this year and be able to, to have that amazing feeling when you cross the line first. And then there's also world championships that I look a lot forward to by the end of the year. So that's maybe more the main goal in terms of a specific race. Yeah. There's so many nice things what you think to achieve and I think, yeah, speaking about the Olympics earlier, it's a dream for every athlete to would have won an Olympic Games. It's a really high goal and as well for cycling, also the World Championships is almost as important as the Olympic Games and that's to 
dream races. If I can dream big, I would pick one of those two to win. And if not, it would be, uh, yeah, to win one big championship or one big classic iconic race.